Another one, DJ Cali. What is going on, everybody? How? y'all doing we have a couple of lit 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 dope gaming news items for this video but before we get started give the video a big gigantic thumbs up bro all right first news item this is a doozy an all new donkey kong game is in development and guess who's making it not retro but the super mario odyssey team a couple things come to mind bro first retro isn't making it that's typically the team who's made it in the past but we all know Retro is working on Metroid Prime 4, so most of their development resources are going into that game. And so, according to Nintendo Life, this came from NintendoLife.com, and the same website has said that they verified through their sources that this is indeed the case, that the next Donkey Kong game is being developed by the Super Mario Odyssey team. You know what, this automatically has me thinking, not a 2D Donkey Kong game, a 3D, more open world type Donkey Kong game, similar to Donkey Kong 64. Now, I'm here for a 2D Donkey Kong game. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is one of the best 2D platforming games ever made bro you can't convince me otherwise the game is just lit but it's been we haven't had a two a 3d donkey kong game since the nintendo 64 and so um we'll see what comes of it but i gotta let you guys know donkey kong being the next donkey kong game being developed by the super mario odyssey team crazy crazy news bro we got even more lit Nintendo Switch game news. Oh, <coughs> y'all weren't ready for this. I told y'all we got exclusive gameplay footage. Now I'm just joking. This isn't exclusive, but this is real. Calculator for the Nintendo Switch has just been announced. And I believe the game is available now. I went to the official Nintendo website. It said it was available now uh, for $9.99. <laughs> So for $10, <coughs> you could turn your Switch into a calculator. This is gameplay footage coming courtesy of Impact Game Station. Gameplay footage, 3.14, isn't that pie? <laughs> isn't that pie? <laughs> Y'all didn't know I knew that, bro. I'll be able to show you what it looks like on your home screen, bro. That's the image. So calculator now available for the Switch for 10 bucks. Boy, next news item is a big one, bro. EA has confirmed, this isn't a leak, this is no rumor. Battlefield 6 will be cross-platform and cross-generation. It'll be cross-generation, meaning it's not just going to be previously there were rumors that the game will just be on next gen consoles ps5 xbox series x having fans to think that the gameplay is about to be amazing they're going to optimize it for next gen consoles but pump the brakes ea has come out and said nope that's not going to be the case the game will be on the xbox one and playstation 4 too much money off the table if they just go next gen and you already know ea likes that money slight bummer because i personally as a ps5 as a proud ps5 owner 
I want <laughs> games optimized for my next gen console and not being held, held back by last generation. So uh, we'll have to see what the gameplay actually looks like if the game is, is in fact going to be held back. Bro, the next gaming news item is crazy. Bro, what if I told you the next Assassin's Creed game could be free to play it looks like this could be the case ubisoft in their latest um, earnings briefing they have confirmed that they're moving away from traditional triple a um, costs with their titles and moving more towards high end free to play that's what the exact quote is high end free to play so triple a quality games that would be free to play interesting i'm gonna share my thoughts how this could impact game pass and other such services but this is the exact quote in line with the evolution of our high quality lineup that is increasingly diverse we're moving on from our prior comment regarding releasing three to four premium triple a games per year it is indeed no longer a proper indication of our value creation dynamics. Additionally, we are building high-end free-to-play games to be trending towards AAA ambitions over the long term. So this could be their new model for gaming. This would destroy Xbox Game Pass if other game developers started doing the same thing. Because the whole thing with Game Pass is, I don't have to spend $70 to get Assassin's Creed if I wanted to. I could just get it on Game Pass for my subscription. But what if the game is already free? <laughs> if the game is already free, then it doesn't matter what subscription service you get. You just buy Assassin's Creed. I mean, you, you download the game for free. If you want a blue shield instead of a brown shield, just pay them $4, bro. <laughs> and that could be their new model going forward, which is interesting 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 times are changing ladies and gentlemen bro if you wanted to get a ps5 you just missed it <laughs> it's hard to uh, keep you up to date live on ps5 restock but this is good news knowing that um retailers are constantly refreshing ps5 stock i've actually seen on twitter dudes tweeting out finally got a ps5 well game a huge UK retailer game that's like UK's equivalent to GameStop for us in the States they just had PS5s up for sale and it's already by the time you're watching this video the article is it just went out of stock game has now sold out of its latest PS5 stock allocation there was a healthy selection of bundles on offer and we saw stock last a lot longer than previous drops but that wasn't exactly a high bar to beat all right and so the stocks did last a little longer but they still went out relatively fast so this really hit or miss the ps5 stocks are coming but they're going real quick speaking of next gen stock xbox is doing something very creative if you're still trying to get an xbox series x check out what they're doing this is coming from polygon.com you can now order an xbox series x through your current console interface this is coming from the official xbox insider um, twitter this is what it says today we're introducing the console purchase pilot allowing us xbox insiders on xbox one to register for a chance to reserve an Xbox Series X or S console. And so you can now, you check out the Xbox Insider Hub on your Xbox One, and you can pre-order an Xbox console through your Xbox console. Boom, mind blown. And the last news item, the Apple versus Epic law lawsuit is revealing more and more stuff and it seems like microsoft is getting caught up in the crossfire more internal documents from microsoft reveal that microsoft 
is requiring indie developers to agree to games being on Xbox Game Streaming, Xbox Game Pass, in order to get published on the Xbox platform. If you've noticed, Xbox Game Pass has recently gotten a flood of indie games in the service. Well, it looks like that Xbox has been giving them, holding a, um, I would say a carrot overhead, more like threatening them. You want your game on our console, you got to put it on Game Pass, which is tough. Interesting stuff. Nice tidbit. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about today? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. We out. Peace.